all my YouTube crafty friends. My name is Vicki and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to use the Flower Wheels Flower Loom to make these cute flowers. The flower wheels come in two sizes. The large size makes a 4 inch flower and the small makes a 3 inch flower. To begin wrapping your flower wheel loom, start at the bottom on the left hand side of the two and insert your yarn in the little slot down there. To begin, come up on the left hand side of the one, down, down to the right side of the two, back up, Wrap as many times as your pattern calls for, or as fluffy as you want your flower. I'm going to do four today. There's four. Then, working in a clockwise motion, come down behind the two and up to the left hand side of the three. Now, continue to the four on the right hand side and wrap it four times. There's two. There's three, Oop. three, and four. Keep it, keep an even tension, but don't tight it, don't, don't wind it too tight. Now we're coming up to the five. And there's four. These make up really quickly. You could sell these at a craft show or on Etsy. Okay. To wrap the centers, you can either continue on with the same color and leave about 24 inches for wrapping or you can cut it off to about 4 or 5 inches to weave in. Today I'm going to show you how to use a contrasting color and we're going to cut this off and we're going to get about 2 feet of white to make our center. Use a tapestry needle. We're going to turn our flower wheel over and we're going to secure the yarn on the back side by going under four of the strands. We're going to take the other end of our yarn and we're going to make a slip knot about four inches from the end so we have enough to weave in. There's your slip knot. Then we take our tapestry needle, go right through the center, and we're going to secure this down. So we've got a secure place to start stitching. Next we flip our wheel over and we are going to start between the 6 and the 8. You want to come up from the back side in between the petals of the 6 and the 8. And you want to count back 4. 4 spokes on the wheel two, three, four. So we will be coming in between the one and the three and we are going forward underneath four. Oh, I guess it would be backwards but we're working in counterclockwise under four petals. We will be making four stitches like this. Put your 
thumb on top of your yarn so that you can snug it down there real good. Okay, next we're going to go back three spokes, go in between the 12 and the one, and come forward one. So we'd be coming out at the six. So we came out between the six and the four, so we count back three. We'll be going between the 10 and the 12 and coming back underneath the four. We'll put your thumb on there to secure it. So we came out at the four We'll be going back three between the eight and the ten and coming out at the two. I could use just a little bit longer tapestry needle here. So we've come out at the two, so we count three back. We'll be going between the six and the eight and coming out at the 11. Y'all are keeping count, right? <laughs> We're gonna be making 13 stitches. I haven't been counting. One, two, three and then go forward under the nine. You can pretty much tell when you get to the end. Okay, underneath the nine, go back three, and forward one. I've got it all caught up in here now, in my spokes. Okay, here we go. And tighten it up. Okay, we came out at the seven. So we wanna go back three and forward one to the five. And tighten this down. Go back three and forward one. Okay. Okay. Now go back three and forward one. Then we go back to the five and to the 12. And there's that one. Okay. Well, I'm not sure if this is 13 or not. I'm gonna just take one more stitch to be sure. Go back three. And underneath the 10. I'd rather have one extra stitch than not enough. Okay. All right, there we have it. Your sewn is, center is sewn. And then you want to come back to the back side so that we can weave all these tails in. Here we are on the back. This is what the back looks like. Let me show you how easy it is to get this off the loom. Just, just fold it for you and here they go. And they're off of there. And you have a nice flat center. And then you just weave in your ends. 
Well, I think we're going to end this video right here today. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you'll subscribe and like the video. If you've got any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section and I'll try to get back with you as fast as I can.